Okay, friends, what's going on? It is uh, in the July. A uh, little update on some of the projects that are going on. And I want to build a 60, oh, I'm sorry, a 50 foot uh, gabion wall over here. This hill sliding is not really much of an issue. Um, all of this is basically in preparation of a 26 by 40 uh, shop going in right here. Um, <clears throat> this hill is basically, this is how it's been for 20 years. Uh, we've been here for about three years now and we've never had an issue with it. I don't feel comfortable though, um, you know, putting in a brand new building here without, you know, just taking the precaution. So the building is basically, this is one corner, 40 feet away from that corner. The 50 foot wall is going to give a five foot overhang on each side. Um, it's just going to give a little extra protection just in case. Gabion walls are basically uh, metal cages filled with either rip wrap or um, a rounder rock. We're probably going to go with a rounder river rock. Um, kind of similar to like the size and shape here um, to kind of just keep with the theme of some of the bigger rounder rocks around the property. Um, Gabion rock or Gabion rock walls uh, are nice because they're pretty inexpensive. They're pretty easy to construct. They are uh, there's not really a need to have it perfectly level. Um, it's something I'm going to be able to do myself with uh, the resources that I have of time, money, and just basically knowledge on this stuff, which is nothing. And um, you don't have to put in drainage behind it because. The wall will basically drain itself. It's just a bunch of rock held together by um, some fencing. So, all this being said, I've never done this before. So, the video is starting with this plan. And we'll see if it ends with a wall. <laughs> um, first thing I want to do, these flags. Basically, what I want to do is I want to put my twist on it. I, wanna, I want it to be kind of my wall. Um, I am kind of going to see if i can actually get the gaby and cages um from a supplier um it's just going to be a lot easier you basically just sit the basket down and then you fill it with rock um that is an option that i am exploring but the one that i really want to do is some concrete footers with some steel tube uh, in, uh coming up out of the concrete and i'm basically going to get some nice uh i think eight you know eight to ten gauge welded wire uh fencing do an inner loop around steel posts so two posts here two posts there all the way down do an inner loop of welded wire 36 inches tall um and an outer loop of wire with some structural ties in between and it'll kind of give me a, uh you know something to practice my welding and uh just kind of make this wall mine um and hopefully it'll be it'll be okay so we'll see um again i don't really know where this this uh video is gonna go i'm kind of just prepping and going as i can i don't have any supplies or anything right now i'm just kind of getting prepped so let's uh let's do a little something here
right, so the idea here, use a post hole digger to dig a hole. We're gonna pour some concrete in these tubes, set these uh, these steel tubes in there. Quick setting concrete, says 20 to 40 minutes. The poles are gonna get wrapped with this 14 gauge welded wire, 36 inch fencing. And we are going to hopefully end with a gabion. So what we're trying to do real quick here is uh, get a rough estimate of what level ground is going to look like. Uh, we're not using a transit or anything right now. Uh, the gabion doesn't have to be perfectly level, which is why I like it. Um, I'm definitely not an expert in this stuff. I'm just doing with you know what I can with the resources that I have. Um, when the building is here, they need it within three inches of level. As you can see, this is the high end of the yard. And as you come down, we're probably going to have a six to eight inch uh, fill in here with some stone. And we want the wall to, you know, be relatively, you know, even here. So this is going to help us give a nice guide. All right, so this is the uh, quickcrete fast set. Takes about 20 minutes. This uh, post appears to be straight up and down according to my, my level there. It's about a foot in the ground. And then we need 36 inches. There should be about 12 inches left over. We're going to put them all in here. And then trim the tops if we need to, and we're going to have a nice level cage. All right, well, that might be as good as a guy like me is going to get. Uh, never done anything like this before, like I said. So <laughs> just uh, <laughs> seeing where it goes, but it looks good. Um, 24 inches apart from the outside corners. And I think, you know, these were a little bit of a struggle. I mean, not really, but the second one, just making sure it's, you know, as square as I can get it to this one. Um, I think now I'm going to let these set up a little bit. Take a little break. And then we'll be able to run some string and we should be uh should make things a little easier all right so not too bad this is uh, we got this end done and then all the posts 
running down. After the first couple went in, like every one got a little bit better. <laughs> you know, you get uh, kind of used to doing it. Um, a lot of these are going to have the tops cut off because we only need 36 inches. Um, but, you know, once all this is done, we're going to run it so it's going to be level with how we're going to bring up this part of the yard. So we'll figure that out. Um, we're a few steps away from that, but these will be cut to 36. And uh, once we got this string, once we got this first post in here, we were able to run the string really nicely and uh, just give us kind of that straight edge. It's not exactly perfect. Um, and then ran the uh, the tape on the other side to get our spacing. So looking looking pretty good, looking pretty good now. Some of this dirt's gonna come back down. You can see how low we got it there. We're gonna fill some of this back in a little bit. Um, <clears throat> they're they're setting up quick. They're nice and nice and sturdy already. So I think it's gonna be uh, just what uh, just what the doctor ordered here. So let's keep going. Let's try to get this other back line. Ran through, we got some weather coming, but I think we got some time to uh, hopefully get all these holes done, so. All right, we are, uh, all right, we're getting done here for the day. So we are missing two posts. Okay, Getting a little tired late in the day, it's Sunday. And starting to rain so we got all cleaned up don't want to have the quick set bags and pour it on got some got some weather coming well you know what they say another day another project <clears throat> so the posts are in use the bulldozer to backfill a little bit um trying to get this as you know, close to level, it's not gonna be perfect, but as close to level as possible before we're putting this wire on here. So pulled some of the hill back. There's about, I would say a 10 inch, maybe even more um, elevation change here. This is all gonna be leveled out with stone. So again, it's not gonna be perfectly perfect, but when this fence is laid out, it's gonna be, uh, it's going to be, um, it's gonna be more level, more in line with the elevation change that's coming. <clears throat> so we'll see how it turns out uh, there will be so this is a uh this is a 50 foot this is going to be a 50 foot wall and the building that's going to be going here is going to be a 40 foot building so basically halfway in between those two posts that's the 10 foot spacing so they're going to have five foot overhang the wall on each side this is not really a retaining wall it is not being put here to retain this hill um my idea is that the the building is going to be you know about four or five feet off of this wall and it's just gonna and again i, I i'm sure i talked about this in the last couple of cuts here but um it's going to get kind of cut off here around 36 inches you know you can see how much room is at the top of that post and then once it gets filled in you're probably going to lose a little bit of this wall too because i think the stone's going to go up a little higher than what i have here so it's just going to be a small uh a small wall and really it's going to keep snow it's going to keep snow from coming down and just getting along the base of the building so it's not really a retaining wall um it's more of just a uh it's just going to keep some stuff from going against the building so let's see what we can crack up here i've already got this uh welded wire wrapped around this post here so it's a 100 foot roll of wire fencing and it's a 50 foot run so if you think about it 50 feet in the front 50 feet in the back uh, 24 inches on each side so there's going to be you know this isn't going to be long enough so these are the two middle posts here so i'm going to start wrapping here and i think i should be able to get safely around to this post here and basically any load from the rocks which i don't anticipate there being any because the way that these walls are stacked is that you put the you stack the rocks neatly in between so gravity is pushing down not out um that's basically going to anchor the whole load and then i can just mend this back piece i got plenty of uh plenty of fence over there so that's the idea we're going to start here and hopefully you know get to this post
All right, pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Okay, so here we are. Pretty cool. So went through here with the pliers and you just twist each little row as many times as you need and it makes the fence nice and taut. So some sections needed a little bit more twisting than others. Um, but it's pretty rigid right now. Okay, so uh, here we are. I got this fence. Uh, this fencing, I had the. There's another two feet or so on some of these. I lopped them down. We're about uh, 24 inches on the uh, on the fencing right now. So I think that's a good height. And uh, we got some cross wires in here, and they're ready to fill rock, and we'll continue to tighten as we go. Here's our rock. So there's no easy way to do this. There's just uh, there's just doing it. And I think so far we're going to start by using some five gallon pails and just moving a little bit. Um, what are your other options? One rock at a time. Some sort of machine with a bucket is just going to dump too much in, a, in an uncontrolled way. It's going to push these uh, cribbings out. So we're just going to do a little bit at a time and, and get it done. And then we just had some dirt dropped off moments ago. And we're going to bring this up to grade a little bit and uh, just keep moving in the right direction here to hopefully get this, uh, this shot put in here pretty soon. So it's hot. It is 90 degrees out. Heat wave, heat warning. Um, we just got home. So some other videos out there on my channel at, at this point, I'm assuming, of uh, me washing some apartment complexes. So luckily I make my own schedule and I schedule myself well to where I'm ahead of schedule on the uh, apartment complexes. So it's about noon and I'm home. Um, I'm not going to be dicking around in this heat, um, dragging hose. So I'd rather be here working on the property. So we're home and we're going to get some of this stuff done.
Okay, so we're not doing all this with buckets. Um, this is what we got done so far, that section over there. It was fine. I mean, you could do it. It's just, this thing's like 200 bucks for the day. It's just worth every penny. So we're gonna run some rock into there. Um, I am just, you know, the only thing I was just kind of concerned with, with using, like dumping it in with a bucket is I don't want to like just form the cage too much, but you know, we'll see what happens as we, as we go here. I've never used one of these things before. It's pretty neat. What I did quickly off camera, well, it wasn't quickly, but I ran another 100 feet. Um, I bought this because I knew I wanted to, or I, I thought I was going to do uh, the two sets. Um, tried it with just the one, and it was kind of fine, but I just, you know, I wanted the extra support, and then went through and did some extra ties. This thing's pretty, pretty sturdy now, so we're ready to rock and roll this rock. It's kind of like a little bit of a test area. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, went through, added the second layer of wire. The first one, the first set of wire was cut to 24 uh, inches. This one was the full 36, and then I folded the tops over and just kind of caged in the rocks. Took some wire, wrapped it around the top of each post, ran into the other one, structural support for the post, and then uh, this is some old foam, just until I get some uh, cap on there. So the water doesn't get down in there and starts to rot near the footing but look at that not bad right not too bad so one day there will be a building here about five feet in between that and the wall the snow will come off the roof and fall i can go through here with a shovel go through here with uh, a snow blower and blow it on the other side of the wall it'll keep all the snow from sliding down this hill up against the base of the uh, of the building 
but just kind of keep everything nice and neat this actually isn't a retaining wall it's not going to be retaining any load from the hill um and then the water's just going to be able to drain through i think um i am going to fill this in get this tried a nice level for the building site um it's not imperative right now it would probably be a little bit less of a headache if i did it right now um but eventually i think i'm gonna run i got some leftover riprap over there i think i'm gonna have like maybe a 12 inch or 18 inch uh drain here so as the water seeps through it'll run down like have some fabric in there or uh, some sort of moisture barrier and then the riprap so it'll fall into the tunnel or the you know it'll be like kind of like a, a swale and run down here i think that'd be a really good idea so the water doesn't just seep into under the building so yeah, that's good for today i don't think i got any more work for this uh machine i think we're gonna load it back on the trailer and then uh we'll see how we feel when we get back from taking that back to the rental place uh this dirt has to get spread it's been a long day it's been a hot day i think this might wait till tomorrow so we're gonna get this back on the trailer so that's the when I measured this out, it came out to be like 7.14 cubic feet. I ordered eight. So pretty good. And I think that'll be enough to, to do some drainage, about 50 to 60 feet of drainage through there. So working out, working out. <laughs> 